This is your character profile for Sheila Burling, the young, impressionable and ultimately kind-hearted daughter of the Burling family. Let's have a look at who Sheila is as a character. Sheila Burling is the daughter of Arthur and Sybil and fiancé to Gerald Croft, her father's business rival. She is described as very pleased with life and rather excited at the beginning of the play, indicating that she is very much a typical woman in her 20s in that she is still quite childlike. While Sheila is in her mid-twenties and at first shows childlike qualities, she's actually more mature than the rest of her family. We see this through the inspector's interrogations. She accepts blame for what she has done and tries to get others to feel some responsibility too. She takes on the role of the inspector after he has left. Overall, Sheila is the most strongly affected by the inspector's interrogation. She learns her lesson and the audience is left feeling confident that at least Sheila will genuinely have changed her ways. Sheila became involved with the Eva Smith story after Arthur. She admits she was shopping in a store called Millwoods with Sybil when she came across Eva Smith. Eva was working there after being fired from Arthur's factory. When Sheila tried on a dress that didn't suit her, she felt embarrassed and believed that Eva was laughing at her. As a result, Sheila approached the manager of Millwoods and requested that Eva be fired. She threatened that her family would stop spending money at the shop unless Eva was let go. Because the Burlings spend a lot of money at the store, the manager agreed and Eva was left jobless once again. According to the inspector, this was the last steady job Eva had and after losing it, she decided to try another life. Let's have a look at how Sheila behaves on stage both during her own questioning and the interrogation of others. The inspector needs to waste no time persuading Sheila to feel guilty for what she did to Eva. Unlike her parents, Sheila immediately believes she is to blame. The inspector has to stop Sheila from taking all the blame and reminds her that while she had a part to play, the actions of others were just as influential in Eva's downfall. During her questioning, Sheila says miserably, so I'm really responsible. Unlike her father, Sheila immediately assumes blame for what happened to Eva and the news changes her mood completely. Have a look at this graph. Imagine that the blue line represents the percentage of guilt Sheila feels throughout the play, while the green line represents how concerned she is for her reputation. Unlike her parents, Sheila feels guilty throughout the play and is hardly concerned for her reputation at all. Now let's look at how Sheila will be received by an audience. Sheila Burling comes across as a likeable character. She has made a bad choice, but her guilt and continued efforts to make her family feel guilt make us forgive her. As an audience, we can tell she means well and is open to change. Sheila is different from every other character. She is the one who seems to understand both the moral implications of the family's actions and also the inspector's power and influence. In this way, she comes across as more mature and intelligent than her parents. Throughout the play, the inspector actually seems to change who Sheila is as a character. She questions everything from her parents to her engagement. She grows the strength and confidence to confront what she sees as wrong. And though she seems to be on the way to forgiving Gerald for his infidelity, she has the courage to break off her engagement, disappointing both her father and her fiancé. Remember, you will need to learn key quotations for your exam as you won't be able to bring the text in with you. First, when Sheila hears of how her father treated Eva in the factory, she says, These girls aren't cheap labour, they're people. Once we have read the play, it becomes apparent that this quote reflects the inspector's closing remarks, perhaps preempting the moral message of the play. This gives us an indication of how important Sheila will be to the play as a whole. Sheila has the last lines in Act 1. She says, why you fool, he knows. Of course he knows. And I hate to think how much he knows that we don't know yet. You'll see, you'll see. She's talking to Gerald here and persuading him that there is no good in hiding anything from the inspector. This is the highest point of tension in the play thus far. Gerald has given away that he knew Eva and Sheila has realised the power and influence of Ghoul. These lines reveal Sheila to be a very important character and also the wisest in the family. As Gerald confesses his affair with Daisy, Sheila says, I don't dislike you as I did half an hour ago, Gerald. 
This is another good example of Sheila's maturity. Gerald's honesty in revealing his affair with Daisy leads her to forgive him. She is not led by her parents, but rather forges her own path. She is constantly surprising the audience, perhaps to show that young people can be influenced to becoming a force for good. When hearing of how her mother refused to help the pregnant Eva, Sheila says, Mother, I think that was cruel and vile. The two strong adjectives, cruel and vile, show us that Sheila is disgusted with her mother's actions and gives us an example of when Sheila stands up to her parents, separating herself and making us as an audience see her as an individual rather than part of the Burling family. The fact that the sentence is short heightens its impact. Towards the very end of the play, when the family have learnt that Ghoul was not a real police inspector, Sheila is sure to put them back in their place. Whoever the inspector was, it was anything but a joke. You knew it then. You began to learn something, and now you've stopped. You're ready to go on in the same old way. Throughout the play, Sheila has built her confidence to challenge the rest of her family, and here we see the new Sheila. The use of short sentences require an audience and the family to listen carefully to the point she makes. Sheila is acting as the voice of the inspector in his absence, trying to reason with her family that they must learn their lesson. This quote represents a shift in power. While Sheila was very much the daughter who did as she was told at the start, she now tells the family what she expects of them. It is very clear from this quote that Sheila is the force for change, even if her family refused to follow her example. Let's consider the significance of Sheila as a character. For J.B. Priestley, Sheila Burling represents the younger generation in society. She learns the inspector's lesson and is ready to change her ways in the future. She gives the audience hope that there is a possible future in which the socialist agenda is adopted even by the upper classes because she shows care and thought towards someone of working class. Including Sheila in the play is Priestley's way of offering an olive branch or peace offering to the upper classes. While he insults them through Arthur and Sybil Burling, through Sheila, he is suggesting that they are not all selfish, that there is a chance for them to learn that their actions have consequences and that the future is not necessarily bleak and divided. Remember, to gain marks in AO1, you have to show that you understand the significance of each character and how they progress throughout the text, so take notes. Sheila Burling's key facts are as follows. She is initially described as rather pleased with life and very excited. She got Eva fired from her job at Millwoods for laughing at her. She accepts blame and feels guilt for what she did to Eva. The audience are supposed to like her because she is willing to change. She represents a possible future in which the upper classes adopt a socialist agenda. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Check out more of our content and remember to subscribe to our channel.